Goal, 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 goal. Hop, stop, 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 stop. Allah, 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 Allah. He gave the He gave the ball to Prophet Muhammad. Prophet Muhammad. He gave it to Umar ibn Khattab. Umar ibn Khattab. He gave it to Abu Bakr. Abu Bakr. He shoot. He miss it. Macy's. He took it. Macy's. May Allah destroy you, Macy's. Uh, Prophet Muhammad, next time Prophet Muhammad, next time the Prophet of Allah is the best to shoot. Ask his wife Aisha, she was six years old when he was shooting her. So don't play, don't say that Prophet Muhammad do not know how to shoot. This Macy is uh, the cross, the cross, he put the cross in his face. We know what that will do, we know, you know, you know, and I know, and everybody knows. He is not fighting by himself, he is fighting by the power of the cross. This is cheating, by the way. This is absolutely cheating. We should have stripped them from the, the thing, you know the thing, Joe Biden, you know the thing? So, again, again, Prophet Muhammad, take the ball, take the ball, take the ball, take the ball. Prophet, this is not the ball you should take, man. You touch the guy balls. This is penalty, Prophet Muhammad. He always missed the balls. He touched the wrong one. It's okay. Prophet Muhammad is going to be guided by Jibreel. Don't worry. Be happy. Allahu Akbar. Takbir, 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 take a beer, take a beer. Mace is drinking beer because he have a victory. What the heck was that, man? What's wrong with people? I mean, those people are really weird. We are in a stadium now or time for beer. We are saying take beer, not take a beer. Those foreigners, they are weird. They got Arabic wrong. They don't even speak Arabic. Like Zakir Naik, Christian Prince. First of all, we did not win the game. And we are winners. As an example, we are number four. Yeah, Zakir Naik, there's no number four. We created number four. Well, I never heard of number four in the in the World Cup. They are number four, but I never heard of that. Do you see in the stage there's only first, second, three? Who is the number four? Christian Prince. First of all, hold on, hold on. Prophet Muhammad holding the ball. Prophet Muhammad walking, 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 walking. His foot is stuck with the gum. Those kuffar. Those the Macy's he leave his gum in the floor. So the Prophet of Allah he will stuck with it. I mean, we know the trick. They are not even winning because they are playing good, but because they are using gum. Moment of silence. Take a beer. Brothers and sisters. This guy, he keep drawing the cross in his face each time he put a goal. And before he shoot, and after he shoot, and between he shoot, and then he got uh, the gold. Don't worry. We are going to take it back. We are going to take to talk to some brothers and sisters who are professional in robbery. And they will get it back. Like Prophet Muhammad, who was a pirate. Hello, everybody, and peace of Christ to all of you. I, uh, uh, as you see, I'm always on time, uh, 17 minutes after the time. This is nothing in the Arabian Peninsula, you know. I mean, Allah, he sent Muhammad 600 years after Jesus. Why? Because uh, uh, the Christian, they thought Jesus was crucified. So it took him 600 years to find somebody. I mean, he looked in the warehouse, who I will send, who I will send. He look, he kept looking, he could not find someone until 600 years after, because what he can do, I mean, he have a scrap. And what you can get between the scrap, you will not find Macy's, you know, you will find uh, Muhammad 600 years after. I mean, he is so good in time and we are very good in time, you know, the Arab, by the way, we are going to go to the moon. All right. Yeah. But Allah, he split the moon before you, you know, don't you know, Prophet Muhammad, he split the moon. Why we need to go there anyway? We split it, it's damaged, and now you are going to take a cracked moon. <laughs> How do you think you can fix it with the glue? It's cracked. It's broken. <laughs> Crazy. Those Christians, they want to go to the moon. You know, by the way, we are advancing everything. We win everything. It's true, we are loser in space, in weapon, in war, in peace, in human rights, even in a stupid football game. But we win. As an example, we brought Zachar Naik. To FIFA. Christian Prince, I told you, don't talk about me. I'm going to report you to the Qatar police. The Qatar police? Your Qatar police, I can, you know, I mean, let me tell you, uh, Zakir Naik, you're a prince of Qatar, you're police of Qatar. I don't even put them in my socks. I'm not wearing socks, by the way, even if it's so cold. Do you know why? Christian Prince, I know why. Why? Because you are an infidel and you are always hot. Mm. 
Don't say that to your wife, Zach and Nag. She will leave you. Hey, Muslims, don't listen to Zach and Nag. He just said, I'm very hot because I'm an infidel. Hmm. Hey, by the way, when May says he made you touch the cup and take a picture with it, was it hot because he was holding it? Unbelievable. Today we are celebrating that the three Christian nations, as usual, they are the winners, even though the Muslims, they try their best to make this game about religion. You know, for us as a Christian, we don't care really. I mean, this is even silly to make it about God. But for me, I like this guy, Macy's. Even though I don't know him, I never actually, I never, I don't, I don't, I don't watch football, I don't care for football. But I notice each time, as been told, that when he play or he got a goal, he draw the cross in his face. Beautiful. You see, and then he says, I know that God is with us. So this person is a true believer. And if you are a believer, God will be with you. In the same time, I was really upset that the French team, as I've been told, they never even pray once during the game or before the game. So how you will win? Yeah, you got what you deserve. Maybe if you pray, you know, to the Lord, appreciation, maybe you will have the cup in your hand. Next time you learn, my friend. Uh, prayer is very, very, very important. And I will support those who they are believers. I don't care for the team. I don't care if it's Argentina, France. Actually, I wanted the French to win because I noticed there's many of them, they are African, and that would be a, a victory for Africa. I like to support the African people. But sadly, not even one of them he pray. I don't know if I'm wrong. Uh, always, always, you know, countries like Qatar, which is a, the prince is a criminal, He's an, by the way, those are not prince and princes. They call them prince, your highness, thanks to the oil and the gas. Those are Bedouin. They used to live in the tent. And I am an Arab and I know my people. Those have nothing to do. I mean, this country does not even exist. What? The first time this country exists, 1972, I think. 1972. So this is like less, less than 50 years country. How those people become, became royal? This country never exists too, as a country. Uh, but thanks to the, the, the British intelligence and Her Majesty, the Queen of England, they decide to make him a family with the, the same as the Saudi, the same as the Jordanian kings. You know, they made them kings and princes. But the truth is, those are nothing to do with highness. Uh, Somebody saying French teams has a lot of Abdul in their teams. No, that's not true. I checked the names. I checked the names. That's not true. There's one, his name is Ibrahimo, and I think he is not a Muslim. Still, last name. And, you know, actually, even if there is a Muslims who they are pray, playing in our side, that is even more humility to Allah. I mean, the team making us, the Muslim making us win. That would be wonderful. That would be even better. Uh, uh, you know, in the last uh, uh, two weeks, the, the Qatari government, who they are very corrupt, very evil, very, I mean, you see this stadium, people are celebrating, but do you know how many people die there from the poor countries? Just a few days ago, we heard the news about the European Union, the police, they launched an investigation and they found that the Qatari government, they are involved in a bribe, big deal. And the bribe is involved in many things. All of them, they lead to, to lead to one thing, to make Qatar a powerful country. Even this is a small, tiny country. I mean, the, the whole nation is less than a population of a building in China. How come those people, they want to be uh, like a watch member in the European Parliament? Who are you? I mean, this is not Brazil. I mean, Indonesia, they have a 300 million or 200 million uh, citizen. You can say, okay, give them a chair to watch. But Qatar, who is Qatar? Why Qatar?
they start investing their money in bribing everybody. And you know what? There's many they worship money. Their God is money. Millions and millions of dollars, houses, cars. And not only that, we found that even Morocco is involved in the bribe. All of them, they seek one thing, power, control, authority, and to make their image look better. So they look around them, how we can our image look better? Everybody knows that we have zero human right. Everybody knows how evil this government is. Everyone knows how filthy every single individual leader in the Middle East. Everyone knows that those people, they have zero ethic. And that's why they bribe. Even the religious one of them, of those governments, is selling drugs. As an example, what is number one income for a Taliban? Drugs. What is number one income for Iran and Hezbollah? Drugs. Pakistan? Drugs. Drugs. And now they thought they can bribe everybody. And actually, Qatar got the World Cup to be in Qatar by bribe. Even that is a bribe. This is telling you how filthy this religion. And remember, the prince of Qatar, he is very religious. I mean, come on, he invited Zakir Naik. Don't talk now. Don't talk. No. to Qatar and in the news they says Qatar providing introduction to Islam well let me provide you introduction to Islam in Islam you can bribe you can lie to your family to your wife to your friends and to your enemies who is left let me introduce you to Islam in Islamic countries there is no justice in Islamic countries have zero human right in Islamic countries a human are not a human let me introduce you to Islam. Islam is the most filthy, disgusting, cult, violent, hateful ever you can imagine. And if you don't believe me, just go and check a human right, you know, details. And instead of the whole world, they gather together and they say, you know what? Those people, they killed a lot of poor people from Bangladesh, Indonesia, India, used them as slaves. They did not even pay them their wages. They did not even get their salaries, many of them. And they sent tons of them in boxes to their family without even paying what's so-called insurance. And you know what the insurance for someone is an Indian? $10,000. If an American, he died, they will pay him millions of dollars to his family so they will not sue the government. If an Indonesian or an Indian or a Bangladesh or African from those poor countries, they give him, uh, give him $5,000, give him, give him, yeah, they are poor, $5,000, it's a lot for them, this is a lot, yeah, this is a lot. This is the truth. And yet the whole filthy world Go and fly to Qatar. And then when you go there, you sit in the stadium. When you play with the Muslim team, you will find that the whole stadium is Muslims. Supporting the team. Trying to intimidate you so you will become a loser. And this is why this time, the Muslim teams were able to accomplish way better than before. They start shouting, La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. The terrorists shouting, so they can intimidate the team in the ground and support the Muslim team. Look at this scumbag. Him and his family and his mother. I mean, those people, they even they put their grandfather in jail and he disappeared. 
This guy, he make his brother disappear. By the way, he is not even the crown prince. It was his brother. What, what happened to the brother? His name is Jasim. Is gone with the wind. European Parliament, they issue an order to investigate Qatar uh, scandal and they freeze any process for promoting Qatar between European Union. And then the embassy of Qatar, they posted a post, I'm trying to find it, but this is in Arabic, maybe they have one in English. Uh, they posted a, a, a post saying, European Union should remember that we are the one who stabilize the energy security. So they are threatening them. If you wanna go after us for we are corrupt and we are filthy and we are liars and we are following the steps of Prophet Muhammad. Well, you know what? Remember you are buying gas from it. But I say to Qatar, I challenge you to do something about it because your money, all of it is there. You know, one of the things about Muslim countries and Muslim dictators, all their money is in Europe. So if you try to, you know, to break their hands, they can break your balls. They can crush it. All your money is there. All your investment is there. And they can take it in a second. So we know the game. And we know how they play. With all the support of the money, and the cheating, and the corruption, and the bribes, still they lost, miserably. How do you feel when Macy's he draw the cross in his face in the middle of Qatar, and the Muslim Brotherhood are watching Macy's, praying to Jesus, making the cross in his face? How does it feel, Muslims? In your land, in your stadium and then so-called prince he gave the world cup golden cup to macy's willingly or unwillingly we took it and this is the last time you will touch it you did not touch it because huh, you you know i mean <laughs> you store it in the warehouse how many of you took a picture with it by the way hey macy's can you please give them the cup for five minutes so they can take a picture with it. I mean, please, come on. I'm so glad that he did. He gave them the cup. So, hey, hey Moroccan, come on here. Just come on, take a, take a selfie, man. Hey, take a selfie. It's okay, I want to charge you. It's mine, but I will let you use it, right? Yeah, take beer. Take beer. And today, I was watching the news and Al Arabiya TV, they were talking about a human right in Iran. You know, I like it when the Saudis speak about a human right. I mean, come on, who can beat the Saudi in human right? In Saudi Arabia, you have the right to be butchered. You have the right to be kidnapped. You have the right to stay silent. You have the right to eat you alive. We have the right, you have the right to be kidnapped even from the West and put you in a box and send you in the shipping of the embassy. I mean, I find it very funny. You see, I wish you guys would speak Arabic. You will die laughing. When you watch those Muslim TVs attacking each other, and by the way, those countries, they are full of love. They love each other. So Qatar, they hate Saudi, Saudi, they hate Qatar, Emirates, they hate uh, Turkey, Turkey, they hate Saudi, Saudi, take, you know, I mean, ever, I mean, this is a religion of love. Uh, in appearance, they support each other, but in reality, they hate each other to death. In fact, if not USA, those people will be killing each other every day. You know, this is what the Arab do. You see what Saddam Hussein did? This was a normal day life for the Arab. They invite, they invade their neighbor, their Arab neighbor. They kill the men, they rape the women, and they take the chicken. 
But thanks to America, they behaved since Saddam Hussein. But since Saddam Hussein, we have many wars happening in the Middle East. As an example, where right now we have a war in Syria. We have a war in the border with Turkey. We have a war in Libya. We have a war in Somalia. We have a war in Yemen. Uh, we have a war everywhere. I mean, do you, do you know one Muslim country is not involved in war? The war in Yemen involved Yemen, Saudi Arabia, Emirat, Sudan, Somalia, Egypt, and many other forces, and Iran for sure. But remember, we love each other and we support each other in the football. If you type right now war between Morocco and Algeria, you will see how much love they have. A lot of love. This religion is the religion of the devil. And this is why they cannot live in peace. And I like it when the prince of Qatar, he gave him a abaya to Macy's. Do you think Macy's will become an Arab when he wear the abaya? You know, I will not be surprised, by the way, if those people did try to bribe him and offer him maybe hundreds of millions of dollars if he converted to Islam. Honestly, I don't know if this is what they offer him or not, but I am sure they try. Because this earthy religion, they are so much interested in celebrities. Anyone he is famous, they invest a lot of money to convert him. I will give you an example. Mickey Mouse Jackson, they call him Michael Jackson, the pervert. Michael Jackson is a pervert who is under the influence of drugs and is a child molester. As they say, I don't know, I have not what to say anything. Uh, yeah, there is many families accuse him that he was doing things to their kids. But I don't know if this is true or not, God knows. They invited him to the Middle East and they made him stay in a hotel and they told him don't pay. Do shopping as much as you want. Do shopping, stay in the hotel. They gave him the most expensive suite in the hotel, seven stars hotel, not five. Then after six, seven months, they send him a huge bill to pay. The guy, he don't have the money. They told him, if you convert to Islam and the prince of the country offer, if he convert to Islam, I will pay his bill. If he convert to Islam, I'm going to pay his bill. In fact, as I heard, that Michael Jackson, he thought about it and he was considering it because he is bankrupt, even though he made a lot of money, but he spent too much more than what he made. But he died. Suddenly he died because of a drugs. Those people always, they try to promote their religion by buying celebrity. And if you are for sale, the devil will buy you. This is what they did with Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is a poor guy. He is an African American, as you know. And they told him that, you know, uh, Islam is uh, supporting black. Islam is not like the uh, Christian, the white Christianity. Jesus is white, my friend. Hmm. But the fact, all of us, we knew that Islam is anti-African. We have millions, even in the Quran, proves and reference how Quran look at black people. Even Allah in the Quran, he says that in the day of judgment, all those who don't follow Muhammad, Allah will make them black. And this is telling us what is the view of being black in Islam? It is a penalty in Islam to be black. And actually there's a hadith, and we, we mentioned this hadith many times, if you remember, where Muhammad, he said that when Allah created Adam, 
he hit him in his left right shoulder and the white came from the white people and when he created and then he hit the Adam in his shoulder left shoulder and the black people came from there and then he said to the one came from the right shoulder you go to heaven and I don't care and he said to the one who go from the left shoulder you go to hell and I don't care So according to the filthy Muhammad, you are a black because Allah from the beginning, he decided that you are from the left hand. Left hand always mean or left shoulder mean evil. Right mean good. This is why a Muslim isn't even allowed to eat with his left hand. If he do so, shaitan will eat with him. In front of us, we have a chapter 3, verse 106, and we have many other verses saying the same. Actually, in chapter 32, uh, uh, verse number uh, 82, I think. I'm, I'm getting old, man. It's not good to be old in the age of 17. Let us see. Hold on. Uh... 27, 8, 27, 27. Man. Yeah, 27, 82, correct. It's good to have a good brain, isn't it? I mean, it's there's millions of information in your head, and it's not easy to gather the information in a speed of light. So in chapter 27, verse 82, here it says that there's a beast would come from the ground in the day of judgment, and that beast is sent by Allah, which is very normal. The beast sent the beast. And this beast will recite Quran. But this beast is going to come from the ground and he will have the staff of Moses and the ring of Solomon. And he will hit the one who is a believer in his face and he will make him white. And he will hit the non-believers and he will make him black. This is Ibn Kathir, very famous Muslim scholar, which for me is a shish kebab. He's the same as YouTubers in the day to day, but he is the YouTube of uh, in his time, you know. Uh, but he lie a lot. But even when they try, this guy he, he's trying his best to make Islam look better. But even when he is making Islam look better, he could not hide the evil side of Islam. This is Ibn Kathir, and speaking about the beast who will come in the day of judgment. This beast have a specialty. Will divide mankind into black and white. The white are the Muslims. The black are non-Muslims. Finally, I will be black and my dream will come true. I like to be black. What's wrong with that? What's wrong with being black? Do you see how filthy this garbage religion is? And then the Muslim, they say to you, don't you know that the one, the first one who called for the prayer, his name is Bilal and he was an Ethiopian? <laughs> what they will not tell you that Bilal, he was calling for the prayer because the white Arab, they sleep. He is the slave. He was a slave of Muhammad. He been ordered to do it. So the beast will come from the ground and this beast will have the stick of Moses and the ring of Solomon and he will hit you in your face and he will make a black spot in your face first which will spread until all your face and later your body will become black. It's in the front of you. Allah will recognize the bad and the good from their color. Black and white. It's in the front of your eyes. If you think I'm lying, go check it out. If you think I am lying, what do you do? You check it out. Anything I say to you, anything I show you, please do me a favor. Check it out. Shall we?
This is Islam, my friend. Very evil. Very filthy. When the Muslims, Muhammad, he want to go to war, so he enforced his slaves, who they are black, to fight for him. It's not a choice. You are a slave. And Bilal was a strong man. You know, we know that African, many of them, they have a very good physique and they are very fit. So he made him a commander, but not because <laughs> he is a person who favored the Arab. Sorry, the black. So those Muslims, they come to Muhammad, he says, huh, what? An Ethiopian, he will become our leader? Muhammad, he say, you obey your master, which I hire, your leader in the war, even if he is an Ethiopian and he is a raising head. Can you believe it? He's making fun of the way the black people look like. And by the way, maybe Christian Prince is lying. Let us check it out. Maybe it's not true. Maybe this is Da'if. As you see, it says Sahih. Sahih. This is Al-Bukhari. Even, even if he look like You know, if Muhammad, he stopped here and he said, uh, if he is black, no, he said, even if he was an Ethiopian black, and the word Habashi in Arabic used for, uh, to mean from Ethiopia and to you to be black in the same time. So this is why the Muslims in translation, they said black between two bracket. Even if he's an Ethiopian black slave whose head looks like a raisin. Do you see it? He's making fun of how they look like. It's in the front of you. Different hadith which is we mentioned to you, let me post it in the chat so people will not say, in case you are, uh, if you case you are an African, my friend, this hadith is very important for you. You should have it. I advise you to save it. Open the link I just posted for you and read. This is who is Muhammad, the devil himself. This is a very authentic hadith from Sahih al-Turmudi. And Muhammad is saying, Allah Messenger, peace be upon him. Muslim, they pray on him, by the way. In Arabic, it doesn't say peace be upon him. It says, Allah pray on him, not peace be upon him. They lie in translation. He said, Allah created Adam when he had to create him, and he struck his right shoulder, and there emitted from it white of spring, as if they were white ants, he struck his left shoulder and there emitted from it black of spring as if it were circle. He then said to those who they are being emitted from the right shoulder for paradise, I don't mind. And for those who they are emitted from the left shoulder, they are for hell and I don't mind. In fact, the translation is not true. It says, Wala ubali, which means and I don't care. Do you see it? And this is a very, very well-known Muslim website, Al Alm. This is not a Christian website. This is not a Jewish website. This is not a Hindu. And who care about the website? Check the numbers. We are showing you the numbers of the Hadith. We are showing you their translation.
those are the people they are trying to fool the African and European, the white and the and the Asian and everybody saying that Islam is religion for everybody. What about Muhammad? What he said about the Asian? How he spoke about the Asian? If you read how he speak about the Asian, you will see how disgusting this filthy man is. In fact, Muhammad, he taught his followers, Gag Gog and Magog, which is, according to Islam, is the most evil people ever. They are creatures of evil. According to Muhammad, they are Asian. Let us see some reference. You know, we don't like to say things. Many people, they make speeches, right? We don't do that. Here, I say it. Even it might sometime, uh, you know, like not be easy. I mean, because, you, you know, we are, we are live on air. And I don't really prepare for what the topic. Whatever the Lord he gave me, I say. I heard Allah Messenger saying, Near the hour will fight people who will wear hairy shoes, and you will also fight people with the flat faces like shield. The Prophet said the hour will not be established till you fight with people wearing shoes made of hair, and the hour will not be established if you fight with people who their faces like shield coated with leather. Abu Huraira added, they will be small eyed, flat noses, and their faces will look like a shield coated with leather. The stupid Muhammad, he think that the Asian, they will be the most enemy to Allah. He do not know that now the biggest Muslim country in the world is Indonesia. He do not know. He said to them, don't fight the Turkish because those are Asian too. And he considered Turkish are Gog and Magog. He do not know that the Turkish one day they will become Muslims. Guys, if you are an Asian and you are a Muslim, you must be proud. Different hadith. And you know, the Muslim right away, anything you show them like this, they will say to you, this is the Eve. This is the Eve. This is, uh, you know, Islam is the Eve, my friend. You know what the Eve means? It's weak. And Muslims are weak. Anything is an embarrassment. They say we wash our hands from it. This prophet did not say that. But your book says he said. Those books are the most authentic books for Muslims. They are authentic as long as they are reading them behind doors. The second we read them for them, they are not authentic. My Skype is open if there is any Muhammadan would like to join us. I just open Skype. What's wrong with the what's wrong with the Asian people? You know, uh, every one of us he have different look. So let us say you have a big eyes. Someone else he have a small eyes. Is that a defect? Eyes are made to see. It's not made for show. The question is, who is the blind? Who care if their nose is big or small? Do you like to have a big nose? Uh, yeah, like, you know, I, uh, 
I can touch my phone with my nose if I'm cash, you know, carrying grocery. This person is not focusing in the quality. As you see, he described people by their color, by their faces, and he considered them, he considered them evil. And by the way, the hadith in front of you proved that Muhammad is a false prophet. Because Muhammad, he claimed that the day of judgment will not establish until you fight Asian people. <laughs> Any Muhammadan? Who is a Muslim would like to join us? Anyone? Who is a Muslim? He is a proud about his prophet insulting the Asian, the African. I mean, this guy is a is a is a is a is a, is a racist machine. And then the Muhammad and they go around, and they claim that they are Islam is for everybody. And they quote for you fake hadith about Muhammad. He said, "Oh, there is no difference between white and black." So what is this? What is this? I am Ahmed. I can call uh, Ahmed the Shia guy. You know, just wait, man. We need some uh, customers. Let us get some real. You left Islam, Ahmed, right? You are out of Islam now. Okay. You can call me just to ask me questions about, you know, I want to see how reading to the Bible is. So soon we hope that you will be become Christian. But, uh, you know, let us have some customers. Our customers is the one who defend Muhammad, as you know, and you are not defending Muhammad no more. You are laughing at him. Thanks to God, you are out of Islam. We are happy for you. Ahmad is our friend. He's a Shia. If you remember, he called me just yesterday. A day before and uh, he, he announced that he decided to leave Islam and for sure he said thank you Christian Prince for helping me we are making millions of them leave Islam and you know it's going to be an uh, avalanche it's already avalanche do we have any Muhammad and he is a proud about Muhammad or you only proud in front of each other or when you speak to people who do not know who is Muhammad and here you are a chicken Any proud Muhammadan? Hmm? Hey, uh, people in Indonesia, uh, Muhammad, you think that you are wearing shoes made from hair? Oh boy. from here could this be indication for uh, well you know we are here you see everything Muhammad he say obviously this is a false prophecy this guy he claimed that when this happened the judgment day will come but all of us we know who is Jankiz Khan and who is Holako here we go, that war happened already. And not only that, they became Muslims. So Muhammad was a failure. His prophecy is a prophecy of a chicken. This guy is a rooster. Every day in the morning, he go and repeat the same thing. And the second you understand what is the rooster is saying, you will die laughing. And you know, I find it that Muhammad, he made something about the rooster. He made a claim about the rooster, which is, uh, I find it nice. Do you know that a Muslim cannot insult the rooster? Allah Prophet, he reported saying, don't revile 
a, a, a cock, for it wakens people for prayer. Okay. Sounds fine, you know. But Muhammad, he discovered something special about the rooster and the donkey. Which, like, a, let us say, a qualification or a, f a f feature. Muhammad, he claimed that when a rooster, he shout, he saw an angel. Which, by the way, true. When you hear the cock crow, ask Allah for his favor upon you, for surely it has been an angel. When you hear the bray of a donkey, seek refuge in Allah from Satan, for surely it has seen the devil. And here I need to ask myself a question. How come Muhammad did not notice when he received satanic verses that the one who gave it to him is not an angel? I mean, consider yourself a donkey, man. A donkey can tell you this is not an angel, man. So Muhammad, he claimed that a rooster, he can find out who is an angel, who is not. A donkey, he can find out who is an angel or shaitan and who is not. But Muhammad, he cannot. Muslims, am I lying? It's in front of you. Look, the reference in the front of you. It says here, Bukhari and Muslim, in Arabic it says, agreed upon, which means all Muslims agreed upon. Science, this is science. Agreed upon. Hmm? Sahih. Someone asking, he have a doubt about how Muhammad will become, he will be the last prophet when Isa is coming back. I mean, my friend, how he is the last prophet if all his prophecy is false? This is a prophecy. And as you see, Muhammad, he prophesied things we do not know, supposedly, like the earth is a flat. Or the man, he is a sperm coming from the backbone. Man, my backbone is hurting me. Now I know what's happening. Women, they have a sperm coming from their ribs. And this is why we see some women, they have big breasts. Those are not breasts, those are balls. You know, women, they try to fool us, by the way. <laughs> you know, and we are naive, we are men, we are naive, we do not know. I mean, the tricks of women, we know nothing about them, you know. Save what the Prophet, he told us, thanks to the Prophet. If not the Prophet, we will not know, how we will know? How any of you will know? You know, you go, you get married, your wife, she take off her clothes, you see what? You see two big balloon. You touch them, they make like me sound like boing, 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 they bounce. Did you ask yourself even what they are bouncing? I mean, did you ask even such a question? No, because you don't dare, she will hit you. And she will tell you, did I allow you to play with them now? Prophet Muhammad, because he was supported by Allah. And he knew what nobody knows save Allah. He told us what those balloons are. He gave us the conclusion which nobody ever mentioned in science books or in science schools or universities. Look, brother, how beautiful it is. This is the Prophet Muhammad teaching us what is those two things, women, they have them in their chest. And by the way, thank God I'm not married because I don't want to get married and go to the bedroom and then what? And instead of I'm thinking that they should have breast. <laughs> you are right. They are balls. And their balls, those women, their balls is bigger than yours. Way bigger. We can't compare. I mean, are you kidding me? So look at the Prophet Muhammad, the Prophet of Science, who discover where the sperm of the man is coming from. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. You know the song, backbone, backbone, what did you do? What you gonna do when the ribs come to you? Backbone, backbone. Meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, which is referring to her chest. 
the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, it is the fluid is yellow and fine in texture. Here we go, the woman, she have orgasm from her breast. I mean, women, they do a lot of things we don't know. I mean, we are men, we are victims. I'm telling you. And look, you know, just to explain to you what women they do to us. I hope women, I hope there's no women here, right? I mean, just men. We have only like 900 people. I'm assuming all of them are men. Anyway, as long as we are only men now, and we guarantee that because this is not a public place, it's just YouTube. So what women they do with their breast, which is balls, they hide the credit card of yours between their breast. They put the cash in their bra. They hide the car key in their bra. They put their cell phone in their bra. And now we discover that even their sperm is coming from there. So we can say that this, this is the center of the CIA of women, where every operation happened. Money, finance, credit cards, and even sperm. My friends, men, we are victims. We are victimized by those balloons. Our money is gone. Oh, I don't want to mention that they go to Thailand and they make them bigger. Hello? So we get smaller in front of them. Like you come back, she are big ones. Like what happened to you? What is that? You know? And she, if you try to do anything, she would hit you with it. Like the bodyguard of Al Qazafi, peace be upon him. We cannot trust them. And look, Prophet Muhammad is expert with women sip sperm. Look, look, look. It's yellow and fine in texture. What the heck is that? Hey, Muslims. What is exactly your prophet is talking about? Women, they have semen, which is yellow? Huh? Let me, let me see uh, the Arabic one. <laughs> All right. Uh, this is about Muhammad making his beard yellow. <laughs> he want to be redhead. Hold on. Uh, <clears throat> Here, Prophet Muhammad, he discovers something nobody knows. You know, like if you go in American government office or anything, or even a stores in America, they do like first come, first serve, which makes sense, you know, like to be just. Allah, he do the same. First come, first serve. The Messenger of Allah, who is very, very specialized in sperm and semen and women boobs, he said, the man water is thick and white and the women water is thin and yellow. He, Muhammad, are you telling me that every single woman you sleep with, she have STD? Why their women? Why those women? Because obviously Muhammad, he never been with the women, but she don't have this. All the women, he been with them. They have a water, and Muhammad think this is a semen, by the way. Women don't have semen, you idiot. They don't. They have a sea without men. Is it okay to the Muslim to reject the hadith? It says in the front of you, authentic, and he will reject it. <laughs> Let him reject it, who cares? But it's authentic. The Muslim, they will reject anything is embarrassment to save their bum from the day of yom. They reject anything sounds stupid. 
How do you know? In fact, I do not know. But one of you once once uh, sent me a message says, I am a doctor. And just to let you know, this is not a true. If women, they have such a water in their private part, that means they are having infection. Infection. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us live on air? Don't text me, please, unless you are a Muslim. Anyone? Who is a Muhammadan would like to call us? And tell us how you feel about losing the World Cup about being a loser all the time. You're losing everything. And everything. Your God, Allah, is a loser. You know, Allah, even he lost in the front of a lizard. In the front of a lizard. Anyone? who is a, an, enemy, an enemy of a lizard? I mean, if the enemy of Allah is a lizard, who is Allah? I say to you Muslims, your enemy is your size. The size of your enemy is your size. Lizard? I mean, are you stupid or what? It's just a stupid lizard. And in case you do not know, lizards are very useful. They do control insect. Otherwise, insect, insect they can they can destroy humanity. They can destroy everything. So they control. They clean your tree from insect. They clean your grass, your uh, uh, your vegetables. They they eat mosquitoes. Lizards are are good creatures. Why the enemy of us is a lizard? According to Prophet Muhammad, who knows everything in the world for sure. Muhammad, he find out that Mr. Lizard, he was trying to burn Abraham. Which is true. Abraham was under attack by a lizard. I mean, why Muslims don't make a cartoon about it? That would be the best movie ever. Look at this, brother. Umm Sharik told God messenger, order a Gaigo, what? Gaigo, to be killed. What happened? What? What Gaigo did? Saying that the Gaigo blow on Abraham. Gaigo. You know the insurance Gaigo? I mean, who is going to buy insurance from Geigo Insurance after now? Geigo is involved in conspiracy against Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. And now we are doing jihad against Geigo? In case you do not know what Geigo is, I'm going to show you some pictures. He's a very, very scary animal. He might look friendly, by the way. He tried to fool you. But in fact, and look, he put makeup around his eyes, you know. Look at this. You know? This is the, let me introduce to you, ladies and gentlemen, the enemy of Allah. Who he tried to burn Abraham. I mean, we do not need to be smart to find out that this guy is evil. He is smart, he is powerful, he is so fast, and he is so small. He can go in your pocket. He can bite your <clears throat> finger. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. 
So Allah, he is waging jihad against Geigo. And the prophet, he said that the one who killed him from the first shot, Allah will give him, etc., etc., reward, like top reward. Like the World Cup, the FIFA Cup. From the first shooting. This is why I practice shooting all the time. You know, hoping that I will get lucky and during the shooting I will find the lizard and get the reward of Allah. And look, he don't care. He is laughing. He smile. Idiot. He have no idea that we are going to wage jihad against him. And he look at him. He's taking a pose. You think this is a joke? You do not know now that ISIS, Al-Qaeda, every single Muslim is going to do jihad against him. You have no idea what's coming to you, you idiot. You want to blow at Abraham? Shame on you. Muslims, by the way, you Muslim, you say that according to Islam, that no soul shall pay for the sin of other soul. So if this guy, grand, 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 grandfather, he, he tried to kill Abraham, why you want to kill his grand, 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 grandson? I mean, just for the sake of the argument. Huh? I mean, do you see how stupid this religion is? In one hand, they say Islam is against, against killing of somebody. He did not do anything. Okay, this guy, he's a grand, 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 grand. And you know, there's lizard everywhere. I mean, they are not even one kind. How do you know how, which, which one, which kind, which color? Which ethnic group, which language they speak, where they live. And then the Prophet Muhammad he said, Look at this. The Messenger of Allah, P B U H. P B U H? What the heck? I mean, those people don't worship Muhammad. They cannot say his name without adding chemical uh, things next to his name. P P. U H, okay. The Messenger of Allah said, "He who kill the chameleon, okay, we switch from the guy going out to the chameleon. The Muslim they are gonna, they cannot fix it with, okay. Let's search for Mr. Chameleon, chameleon, chameleon. I don't know how to pronounce it actually. Just uh, be patient with me. This is more dangerous now. We are getting really in, uh, uh, like into deep issues." Look at this. Look at those chameleons. Look at heck. No wonder, man, he looked like a dragon. Unbelievable. We are going to fight all of these? How we can do that? And look, this guy, he's even like, he don't care. He is like taking a nap, you know, like a dick. What the heck is this? I mean, shame on you, man. Prophet of Allah, he issue uh, like uh, 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 you know like a wanted sign against you. He have he, your picture there, and what do you do? You lay down in a little branch on a tree, and you don't care. Isn't it enough that you don't look good? I mean, how disgusting! Oh, look, this one is a believer. He's praying to Allah. He's looking up, brother. Don't show this picture to the Muslim. They will say he's praying to Allah. Look. But those creatures are very small, very tiny. And how do, how does they became the enemy of Allah? I mean, what's wrong with this God? Do we have any Muslim want to help us to understand? Now we know that's why you Muslims, you have conspiracy of hatred against you everywhere. I mean, the lizard is your enemy. The mice is your, the, the Muslim, they have a fatwa against Mickey Mouse. Can you believe it? Even cartoon. Even cartoon. Look, I'm not making things up. Well, uh, search it. Saudi religious leader 
proclaiming fatwa against Mickey Mouse. They want to kill Mickey Mouse. Why? Because he's the enemy of Allah. By the way, just to let you know, Mickey Mouse is fine. He just told me to tell you, he say hello. He is in the hiding now, but he's okay. And, uh, you know, he's safe. He is under uh, the FBI witness protection. Okay? So he, he's fine, he's fine. How many of you feel like now you want to convert to Islam so you can do jihad against Mickey Mouse, against mice, against lizard, against the Christians, against the Jews, against the African, against the, I mean, Asian, you name it. It's fun, my friend. And then Joe Biden, he said to you, you know the thing, Islam in peace. And he caught Muhammad too. Do we have any Muhammadan would like to join us? By the way, I can train you how to shoot in case you are missing. The, I mean, I don't know. Most of you Muslim, you shoot. Look, Hamas, they shoot at Israel. The missile come in their head. I mean, what's wrong with you? I was watching Al 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 Arabiya Al Jazeera TV, sorry. And they were saying, now, now that the, the resistance, they call them resistance, they are terrorists, but they call them resistance. Now the resistance, Hamas, they are shooting missiles at Israel. Now, 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 put the camera there, put the camera there, put the camera there. Move, 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 move the camera, because the missiles fail on them. The missile went up and went down. <laughs> on them. <laughs> Did not even move 10 meters away. Oh boy. Move the camera. Do we have any Mohammedan who is so proud of Islam and who want to join us to expose Geigo, lizard? Hey Muslims, what do you think about turtles? Is turtles the enemy of Allah or something? Did turtle do anything against the Prophet? You know, I don't know if you know the story of uh, of Noah according to Muslim. You know Muslim, they steal all the stories from others. And 90% of stories is coming either from the Jews or from the Syrian, Assyrian, uh, you know, that area, you know. Uh, so Prophet of Allah, he wanted to explain how Allah was able to make the lion go in the ship of Noah. Mm. how Allah made him have a flu for two reasons to get him in in the ship and he is weak secondly after they got in the ship they come to Noah and they told him we found the mice Noah don't want the mice the mice will destroy the ship will eat the wood and will eat the food so Allah, he made the lion sneeze. And guess what come from his mouth? Anyone remember? This is the Islamic explanation for things, not me. Anyone remember when the lion sneezed, what come from his mouth? Nobody remember? You guys have short memory. What come from his mouth? When, she, when when the lion sneezes, according to Muhammad's story, a cat exactly, a cat meow. You know, makes sense. The cat looked like a lion, small lion. So Allah, He made the lion sneeze, hachu, and right away a big cat came from his mouth, and she chased the mice, so he will not be able to eat the food of a brother Noah. Peace be upon him. How shaitan, he was able to enter the ship of Noah. Anyone knows? By the way, anything we say, 
we can provide reference for it. <laughs> How Shaitan was able to enter because remember, I mean, the, <laughs> the Muslim they try to explain everything for it, like like the flood of Noah. You know, in order for this flood to make sense for them in the way they they, they think about it, so they have to come to a solution for everything. Everything. How Shaitan get inside the ship, and he was saved from the flood. Huh? Any Muslim want to help us? According to your prophet and your religion, how Shaitan was able to get inside the ship? According to your prophet, when Noah he tried to put the donkey inside his ship, Shaitan he was holding him from his tail and he will not let him get in. Brother. Brother. And then Noah he said to the donkey, What's wrong with you? We are late. We cannot wait more. Get in the ship. The donkey said to Noah, Well, Shaitan is holding me from my tail. And then Noah, he have no choice except to say, Okay, Shaitan, I will let you go in. Just let him get in, man. And this is how Shaitan was able to be saved. And he got inside the ship. Brother, I wish that Noah did not let the donkey and the shaitan. I mean, get rid of the donkey, man. If the donkey died with the shaitan, at least we would not have a shaitan. But now Noah, he saved the shaitan just to save the donkey. Look how much Noah he cared for his donkey. Brother, isn't it amazing? to be a Muslim. And by the way, you can find this in the interpretation of chapter 11, verse number 40. I don't know in Ibn Kathir if they have it in English, because Ibn Kathir in English, they hide a lot of stories. They don't uh, translate them. You know, Ibn Kathir in English is totally different from Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Uh, so if we go to chapter 11, uh, 40, Let us see if the donkey story is there. Yeah, it's, it's not there. But we can we can provide you with different tafsir in Arabic. As an example, let us see. If you open this link and you use Google Translation, just be sure to open it in Google Browser. We can choose a Google Translation to this tafsir in Arabic, and you will see the story, or even in a tabari. A tabari is the same, you know, tafsir at tabari. So here, if we translate, it says, uh, "Let me use Google Translation." And hold, hold on. So you can laugh with me. Okay. <laughs> Noah carried, uh, uh, and the last thing to enter his ship, it was a donkey. The donkey cried or carried. So when he entered his chest, translation is very horrible. Uh, <coughs> The translation is really bad. But here it says that the donkey, he could not get in inside the ship. And Noah says, a wee man, enter, enter, get up. But so he cannot even, you know. So Noah, he said, okay, enter even if the devil is with you. And this is how shaitan was able 
to get inside the ship. So when Noah, he said, Satan lit his way, so he entered, and Satan entered with him. And Noah, he said, what let me in? O oh, enemy of God, o enemy of Allah. <laughs> True story. <laughs> Isn't it, isn't it beautiful to be a Muslim? And you have all those st st stories which is very convincing. Hmm? Me, that's deep. This is true. Everything Prophet Muhammad, he say is true. He's racist. It's okay. He's a prophet. A prophet can be a racist. He don't like black people. Well, he's a prophet. He have a license. Asian? So what? He's a prophet. He have sex with kids? So what? He's a prophet. Actually, one of the Muslims, he made a comment in the previous video. I don't know if you saw it. He said, uh, he, is, he was answering about why Allah, he made verses from Muhammad about how many women he can if excuse my language so he said Allah he did that because he knew that Prophet Muhammad is the best of mankind so in the mind of Muslims and this is how they grow they told him that the Prophet he have a special license to insult to if to kill to rape because he's a prophet when he made verses saying any believing woman she can offer herself to the Prophet so he can if her well because he's a prophet He's a prophet. A Muslim, he can have sex with four women in the same time. Muhammad, he can have with unlimited. Any woman can offer herself. You don't even need to pay her. When Muhammad, he took Zainab, which is the wife of his son. How a man, he's a prophet, he take his son wife, man. So what? He's a prophet. Okay, how a man, he go to the house of his son and he flirt with the wife when the husband is not there. So what? He's a prophet. Okay, how Muhammad he can marry a woman without witnesses? Is it in Islam this is a, fa a false marriage? You need at least to have two witnesses. So what? He is a prophet. He have a license for sex. He have license for money. He have a special treatment for everything. He's a prophet. Not only is a prophet, he's the best of the prophet. He is the best rapist, the best criminal. Do we have any Muhammadan want to say anything? Look like today we are out of customers. They are unhappy. The honeymoon in Qatar is over and the Christian they took the gold. Three nations. And what make it even more horrible for Muhammadan, three countries, they are Catholic. You know, in case you do not know, Muslim, they consider the Catholic the worst enemy to Allah. Three countries, and the three are Catholic. Oh boy. In the heart of Muslim countries, in the heart of Muslim brotherhood countries. And you know, the funny is, a Muslim in the previous video, he said too, so what? The whole point is the da'wah. The FIFA in Qatar is to offer Muslim, to offer the world da'wah to Islam. So they offer da'wah to Islam by allowing drinking beer and whiskey and women dancing in the street. <laughs> oh. take a call from Anila uh, we don't have Anila we have a different name let us see is that a Muslim sound like an Arabic name mostly this is a Fakira 
let's see. <clears throat> Fakira is number one caller. Hello? Yes, my friend, you are like you are you are a Muslim? Hold on. Hello. Uh, hello, you are a Muslim, my friend? Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. But you, uh, your Skype name says your name is Samira. Uh, it's my wife. Oh, okay. Sorry for that. All right. So what do you want to say to us, my friend? As long as you are a Muslim, what do you think about what we are saying? I think you're uh, doing a great job of misrepresenting a lot of things. Mispresenting? Oh. Mispresenting. Misrepresenting. Okay, give me. Go ahead. I'm listening. Well, I mean, you're just, you're taking like Hadith, like for instance, uh, the semen and stuff. You're like, you're completely putting that out of context. And okay. Help us. Well, the seminal fluid. Okay. Doesn't it come from, from near the backbone? Does semen come from the backbone? No, not semen. It doesn't say that. Well, this is what the Quran is saying. No, no, it doesn't. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Read for us Cha chapter eighty, chapter eighty-six, verse number six and seven. Go ahead. You say 86 or 46, sorry? Eight, chapter 86, at tariq verse number 7. But you can read before it as many as you want. You can read after it as many as you want. Uh, yeah. Ma'in. Huh? Ma'in. Is that supposedly Arabic? Yeah, is that semen? You, you're, you're from Saudi Arabia, isn't it? You speak. You don't speak Arabic. So why you are trying to fool me, making me believe that you speak Arabic? Obviously, you do not know Arabic. I speak. I speak a teeny weeny weeny bit of Arabic. Oh, okay. All right. I mean, okay. Okay. Alhamdulillah. But but so, but, but, is it, but the question no is no problem. No problem. Saying, Tell me what does verse mean, my friend? Is, you said I mispresent, semen, my, friend, my, saying, my friend. My friend. My friend. You said. You said, I mispresent. The verse in the front of you. It says, Allah He created you from drop emitted a drop. It's a drop emitted proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs the mic is yours yes yeah, so it's not saying semen so what is that uh, the fluid seminal fluid seminal fluid so this this is how the baby is created from some seminal were fluid fluid according to your knowledge uh, huh? yeah fl fluid that was fluid ejected so what is that the fluid the baby is created from a fluid. What fluid? Seminal fluid. It contains semen. Okay, so semen. So it's not the same so so semen. No, no, no. Okay, what is it? No, no, no. Okay, no problem. It, 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 what is exactly create the baby? Uh, well, with the semen, but that's not what it's talking about. It says the fluid that's ejected. What is the not fluid? The semen. What is the fluid will make the baby? Give me details. The seminal fluid. You keep something the same. What is that? I mean, how I asked you, you know, we are going back word for word. What make the yes. baby? I, as I know that the baby is made, that the semen go to the egg of the women, fertilize the yep. egg. And it's carried, what's okay. carried through? Okay, but is that is the, is the egg is a fluid? Is the egg fluid? Yeah, is it a fluid and what's, it's going to is, be ejaculated? What is, what is the, what is the oh look, what, what is the semen carried then? I'm asking you, is the egg is a fluid? Is no, it going to be ejaculated? Egg. Huh? I'm talking about the seminal fluid that was ejected. Well, you tell me. I, mean, I asked you, what is this? You, uh, you see, you, you are going in a circle. The baby is no, a created, no. according to this, the baby is a created from this drop. What this drop is to make a baby, according to you? Uh, the ejaculation. Okay. Is the ejaculation enough to make a baby? The, the semen within it. Is the, so semen, the, is the semen? Is the semen? Is the semen? Is the semen what make the baby? Uh, yes, and it is ejected in the no. ma. No, isn't it? No, you can ejaculate from now until next year, 
You will never have you will never have a baby. The, the Quran you need, brother. No, this like, is what brother, the Quran says. Like you're, mis, you're misrepresenting okay. it. Okay, my friend. Uh, what if we read interpretation? What interpretation you like us to read? We can go and see interpretation. So you, know, you because you are saying to me, I am giving false uh, uh, like uh, interpretation for it, correct? Sorry, bear with me one second. There is a Jalalain, Al Qurtubi, etc. I don't like Ibn Kathir, but whatever you want. Pardon? Second. I'm saying there's Al Qurtubi, Al Jalalain, uh, Ibn Abbas, and there is Ibn Kathir. Ibn Kathir, I don't like it, but whatever you want, I will I will put in the screen. No, but but you're just saying that like we're talking about the Quran here. So what does the Quran say? The why, Quran why says. Don't want, like, are you saying to me? From, are you saying to me that the Muslim interpretation they misinterpret the Quran too? No. Okay. Why do you want to choose just, interpretation? Saying, choose one. Like you're, but you're, but you're trying to. I, I, I um, my friend, completely aware that you're a very good arguer. Um, that you're a very intelligent man. So I just want to keep it simple. I'm making it simple. I'm, make, I'm making it simple too. I'm making it simple because you don't speak Arabic, and you are not a scholar, and yet you are no, accusing no. me. You are accusing me that I am mis. Interpret, interpreting the, the interpretation of the Quran. So you need to prove it, and I'm asking you to help you. Which interpretation well, I'm just saying made the, by the a word scholar, word my friend? Is the scholar is, like, is, 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 is the scholar is 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 semen a drop? Is the semen is enough to make a baby? Is the semen a drop? Well, it is according to the Quran. Yes, it is. No, it's not because what it doesn't mean, mention why it's not. Why it's not? Like what? Like you know, as long as you are married, and as you told me already. So when you have a baby, you drop one semen come out, or a drop, or a lot of drops actually. I mean, yeah, what? a drop. It contains okay. plenty. So of semen. there's a lot of a drop. A drop. It's not. It's, it's a drop. drop. So semen is a drop. Yes. And this. No, no, the semen is called a drop. Says, and the Quran says. <laughs> <laughs> it is gushing forth, not only a drop. So it's a drop. Exactly. 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 So, so it's a gushing it. forth. It's a gushing forth. Exactly. Coming so it's from talking the about backbone. fluid. Huh? It's talking about the fluid. The fluid coming from the ribs? Hmm? Hmm? The, the fluid. Talk, the fluid. The fluid is coming fluid. from the ribs. The seminal fluid? Yeah. Yes. From the from the, from so the ribs. Oh, fluid, sorry, sorry, from the ribs. It comes come from the backbone. From the it's backbone. From place so, what the backbone. Is, so what is the ribs? Uh, I'm not a scholar. I'm not sure. To, I see. I can't answer every question. Okay, for me. but what you answer nothing ribs, but, because you just get your profit busted. You no, just said. No, but you, you just said. You, you just said the sexual answer. fluid. You just said. The sexual fluid yeah. is coming from the backbone, but there's no science in the world say such a thing. The bone have nothing to do where the sexual fluid is coming from. It's it's coming from a place near the backbone. It does this is not science? Hold on. You don't even science. It's, you said the backbone. Anyway, don't we're, tell we're me, let's don't tell me let's talk about close what, to what, the backbone. Why, why do you, don't you tell me next to the border to the back, back door. Don't tell me five inches from the black back. It says it says from the backbone, and you said that. You just say that you said it from the backbone. So now what you will Muslim would do, well, all that area is close to each other. So you will say five inch away, two inch away, three inch away. That is a false. The Quran says from the backbone and the ribs. Uh, let me see now. Hmm. So uh, can I ask you a question? Let's just finish this one and we can we can go to questions. We don't want to go in any direction. One second, I just want to see if I can give you an answer by the ribs. Why well, you don't like us to go and read your scholars to help you, at least, against me? Uh, is, is your scholars going to go against you or against me? We stick with the Quran. You know, why? Why? Okay, no, hold on, hold on. Why? Why you think the, uh, the interpretation made by Muslims is not good option for you? It might be, but I'm just I'm not sure where you're going. I'm not I'm not going anywhere. I'm asking you choose for me an interpretation you like, and we will read it. I'm just being friendly with you. 
No, but we can just read the Quran. We have that. Why you don't want to read it? Because here we go. Our our problem is you are saying I'm giving wrong interpretation. So do you Muslim give wrong interpretation interpretation too? Uh, let me ask. But you, you. So who is who, who is more who is more knowledgeable, I mean, my friend? I mean, is, you, is it you, very is it very Christian of you? You're very hateful. Like I mean, the way you talk, it's not like there's no respect. Like everything you're saying. Like you're <laughs> now, now, you can, we, you now can, we will switch the this drama. I did not call you names. I did not call you names. I did not insult you. I did not say anything wrong. 100%. And now you are saying you don't respect. See, you are trying to escape. You are trying to run away. I'm asking you, please. Are you saying? Are you saying why you don't want to ask me? Open this book and let us read what it says. Why you don't want your scholars, your scholars, not mine, to explain the verse for you? The reason you don't want your scholars because you are afraid that they will get you busted. As simple as that. So either you are a liar or I'm a liar. Either your scholars are lying too or I am lying with them maybe. So who is a liar? This is the question. This is what you call me. You said I misinterrupt what I'm, the Quran is saying. So I'm asking you, friendly, please. Can you tell me, okay, do you like not goes to Al-Jalalain, Al-Qurtubi, Al-Tabari, Ibn Kathir? Which one choose? Uh, oh. They're they're all agreed, but like I'm just saying that like I'm quite like aware that like you're a very intelligent guy, mashallah. Okay, I don't um, I don't I don't care for you saying to me those things, my friend. I don't care if you think I'm intelligent or not. This is not a place. Yeah, you know, you should this know that. Like, this is not a place. You know, this is this is not a place where you can tell me nice stuff and I will tell you nice stuff and everybody go to sleep. Here we are debating about God. And in God, when we talk about God, hypocrisy should not be allowed. So don't praise me. I do not need your praise. I'm asking you a very simple question, my friend. Shall we so go to like shall we go to the interpretation and see if you are telling the truth or I am telling the truth? Why you don't want the interpretation? The answer is very simple. Because you know maybe what I do not what, know. You I, know, maybe, what I do not know, that interpretation will prove you wrong. Is that why you don't want interpretation? No, not at all. I just don't know. Then like, why, what you're going why, to... why we don't take interpretation? What about uh, Al Jalali or Ibn Kathir? Uh, like, I haven't, I haven't read their interpretation. Okay, but let I us go to Ibn Kathir and finish this drama. Here we go. This is Ibn Kathir. I open it. It's in English. You read English. So you have no excuse. This is Ibn Kathir saying, and let us, uh, let, us read, let, us read together, let us read together. He is a created, like a, he is a created from a water gushing forth, meaning, meaning the sexual fluid that comes bursting forth from the man and the woman. So let us take a note. It's a sexual fluid, not anything else. Yeah. Sexual fluid coming from the man and the woman, coming forth, yeah. coming forth where? Outside their body. Thus, yes. the child will is a produ produced from both of them by the permission of Allah. Do we agree? Yes. Agree. Okay, exactly. Let's continue the reading then. It says, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, which is referring to her chest. Okay. What? Okay. <laughs> the sexual fluid of the women is coming from her ribs, which is referring to her chest. And the sexual fluid of the man is coming from the backbone of the man. And this is your Quran. And you say it in front of everybody when you call me, I'm misinterrupting, mispresenting the Quran, and obviously I'm lying. And this is why you call me to get me busted. And now this is your scholars saying that your knowledge, as a, uh, the knowledge of Muhammad and the knowledge of Allah is in the front of us. There's a gushing fluid come from both the man and the women, come out. And Muhammad even described those fluid of the women. As an example, he said that the fluid of the women, which come from the ribs of the women, is a yellow and fine in texture. And the child will not be born except from both of them, i.e. the sexual fluid. Yes, okay. What yes? Do you agree that women they have sexual fluid coming from their ribs? Allah alam, yeah. You agree? Yeah. So why you said to me I mispresent? This is what I said before. Because 
because you're 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 the, like you're just you're 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 loaded with hate. Like it's the it's the way you like you're not trying to understand. No, 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 you're no, trying no, don't, to... don't 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 dismiss, don't dismiss like, my question. Fact, don't miss my dismiss obviously. my question. I'm asking you. You are the one who chooses yeah. topic. I said to you, you when you call me, if you remember, you said to me you mispresent the Quran and mispresent try, 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 inter, interrupt. I said okay, like what? Okay, so you, so you, said me, you said to me, you said to me, as an example, about semen, but it's not talk about semen. You said to me, hold on, we've not agreed that. You said to me as an example that the semen come from the ribs. No, it's because it's not talking about semen. You speak Arabic. This is about semen. semen. This is about semen. It's not, a, oh my God. Okay, uh, I ask you, you said to me, why is, a, why is it, okay? you what, said you agreed, hold on, hold on. Uh, a second ago, a second ago, you agreed with this line. It says it's a sexual fluid. Did, isn't you who agreed that this is sexual fluid? It doesn't say not for, it says mine. Isn't you who agreed with this line? It says meaning the sexual fluid. Did you agree with it or not? A second ago, you agreed. Sexual fluid. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes. What is in the sexual fluid of the man? But, but that's not, it's not talking about what is in the sexual fluid. It's talking about what the sexual fluid. What is the fluid? sexual fluid of the man, my friend? Does it say nutfa? I don't care. I'm asking you. No, it doesn't say nutfa. Exactly. It doesn't say nutfa. It doesn't say nutfa. It doesn't say, it doesn't say not talking about No, my friend, I'm asking you. You agreed just a second ago. You agreed a second ago. Not even, yeah, not even five minutes. we're talking about the fluid, not okay. about the semen. So why do you keep so going back to semen? So are you saying that the sexual fluid of the man is not including the semen? I'm saying that the sexual fluid of the man is not the semen. So what it is? The semen is its own thing. Huh? It is. It is. It is. Whenever, whenever it's ejaculated, there is huh? semen is, in the what, sexual fluid. What is that? But you know yourself. What is, what is that? Whatever you, know yourself, you say. Whatever. Well, no, no, no. Tell me. What is that? Whatever. Whatever is ejaculated. What is that? Is that a semen? No. No. Not in totality. Really? So There's you Muslim men, you are different semen. from other human. So when a Muslim man he ejaculate, he is not ejaculating yeah. semen. He is ejaculating Pepsi. No, he's ejaculating this. this. <laughs> That's what you are saying. I asked you, is it semen? You said no. Why is it not saying not for them? Why is it not saying not for? You speak My friend, don't tell me about you. You are okay. You want to talk about not for? What does not for mean? Yes, it's that's the semen. Not for is the semen. Wonderful. Okay. So I want to ask you, according to science, how many days the not for can live? I don't know. Search Google. Search Prophet Google right now. Uh, probably a few days outside. I don't know. How many days? Marv. Search Google, Prophet Google, peace be upon him. <laughs> well, you Prophet Google, he know better than your God and your Prophet. Here we go. You are the one who chose the word not far. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you this, not a Christian? This is this is this is uh, how how that is a blasphemy. I'm making fun of your God and your Prophet. They are the devil for me. How that is God. blasphemy, my friend. Hold on, listen. Listen, here we go. This is your prophet. This is your prophet. And this is getting you busted because you are the one who said to me that the drop is not a semen. This is your prophet saying, Oh Lord, a drop of semen. Oh Lord, a clot. You see, you see, you, you lied, you lied, and you said that the drop does not mean a semen. It's in the front of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't. The drop okay. means the seminal fluid. Okay, read for me. Saying, uh, saying, guys, saying everybody, drop, everybody drop heard you. You just said, you just, you just insisted, you just insisted, you said the drop is not a semen, correct? Correct. Okay, so your prophet is ignorant again, because your prophet, he's the oh, one who oh, said semen. What? That's a different thing? Read the hadith. Yeah, but we're reading the Quran. Are we reading the Quran or the Hadith? My friend, are you saying to me, your prophet, he is an ignorant and you are the one who knows the Quran better than your prophet? Absolutely not. So, your prophet, he says a drop of semen. You said this is false. There is no way. And your prophet is the one who said that. So, you are accusing your prophet to be a liar. It's not me who said that. So, open 76. My friend, the Hadith in the front, if you read it. I can't see any hadith in front of me. Are you sure? Okay, I will give it to you in Skype. Here we go. I will post the hadith in Skype, so you can read it as a text if you cannot see it in my YouTube. Jazakallah. All right, here we go. It is in your Skype now. Read the text, please. Can you send me the hadith reference? I send you the link. I send you the the text. 
This is a translation, but okay. You, you, do you speak Arabic to give you the Arabic? Uh, yep. You speak Arabic? A second one, when you called me, you said you don't know no Arabic. Shway, shway. <laughs> okay, you know what? You know what? As long as you know Arabic, I want you to read Arabic for me. Read the Haith in Arabic. Here we go. This is the Haith in Arabic. Go ahead. Forget about the English one. Hadathna Musaddin, Kola Hadathna Hamadun, and I will be, I will law. Bin, you really put me on the spot. You know, I'm on you, Muslim, right? Abi Bakr, Bin Abu Bakr, Abi Bakr, and Anasi Bin Malikin. What the heck is that, my friend? Why do you not know how to read Arabic? Come on, let me read it for you in Arabic. Okay, حدثنا my friend that النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم قال إن الله عز وجل وكل بالرحم ملكا يقول يا رب نطفة يا رب علقة يا رب مضغة فإذا راد أن يقضي خلقه ها okay so now read for us the English one يا ربي I'm still reading the Arabic mood يا رب yeah you you challenge me you know it's good practice okay read you don't know how to read Arabic Am I not reading it? Is, uh, what the, this is Arabic now? Yeah, Yaqdiya is not what it says. But you are making it like a train. Bro, I mean, you Muslim. Like, okay, my friend, give me the meaning. Give me the meaning. Forget. Okay, give me the meaning. Forward. Hmm. I'm going to take a nap. By the time you finish, we will be sleeping, man. I'm happy. Give me the happy answer. Okay, give me the answer. Come on. Do it in English. Uh, at every room, Allah points an angel who says, O Lord, a drop of semen. O Lord, a clot. O Lord, a little lump of flesh. Then if Allah wishes to complete his creation, the angel asks, O Lord, will it be a male or a female? A wretched or a blessed, and how much will his provision be, and what will his age be? So all that is written while the child is still in the mother's womb. All right. So is it a drop of semen or not? Well, this is talking about whenever a child's conceived. He says he says specifically he says specifically a drop of semen. In the Quran, is talking about whenever well, the Quran is speaking about the Quran is conceived. Quran is saying, okay, hold, hold, hold. So are you saying to me now this is the nutfa is inside the women? Yes or no? At conception, yeah. Okay, but here it says that the one, according to your prophet, that a drop of semen will make the baby. So, okay, correct. what is what is the egg? Uh, the drop of semen enters the egg, right? The drop of semen is the egg, and enters the egg. What is the egg in the story? What is the egg in the Quran? What is the egg in the Hadith? There's no egg. We showed you Ibn Kathir saying it's a, it's a sexual fluid, it's a sexual fluid, and you agreed. Sexual fluid yeah. is not the egg. Egg is not a sexual fluid. Never was, will never be. But a, but so, a, sec, but a second ago, you say the sexual fluid is the semen. Huh? <laughs> you got me? <laughs> I got what? A minute ago, you're trying to argue that the sexual fluid is the semen, but now you're saying with the sexual fluid is in the eggs. You're, you're not, like, consistent with yourself in your argument. I'm not the one who's saying anything. It's you who said... That the sexual fluid is not a drop of semen. You say that. I'm asking you now. The semen is the egg drop, of the woman. Of is the egg of the woman? Is the egg, the egg, is the oh, egg of the woman? Is a sexual fluid? No, the egg's not the woman's sexual exactly. fluid either. Exactly. So but, where is the egg? So a, drop, a drop of semen enters the where egg. Where is the egg in the story? Where is and the egg in the what is the egg in the Quran? And where is the egg in the Hadith? There's no egg. Because both of them there's speak there's of sexual clock. fluid. It says a clot. The, the, this is the semen will become a clot. When it joins with the egg? No, the semen itself will become a clot. Don't you see? If we go That's in the Quran, look. let me show you, you know. Today you will leave Islam, my friend. 
<laughs> you are already <laughs> laughing at your prophet. Look at you. Here we go. This is the Quran, and you are the one who said to me. That can, I, can I ask? Because hold on, I want hold, to on, ask hold, on hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What is the child is made of? You said nutfa, correct? So, all right. The nutfa we just said. The prophet he said that nutfa is a semen, correct? Correct. Okay. So now the nutfa, which is the semen, will become a thick blood, and this is your Quran. Read it. Yes. But the nutfa is the semen. You just said that. You agreed. Yes. Okay. Where is the egg? But it has to join with the egg to go into this next process. Where is the egg? No problem. It has to join. I I, I like it. it has but, to but join. Did it join according to the Quran? The Quran says, and you agreed, that this is the semen. Women don't have semen. Women, they don't have semen. It's not a secret. Have, okay. So semen. women who don't have semen, and you agreed that Nutfa is a semen, according to your Quran, chapter 23, verse number 14, and we can open any translation you wish, saying that the Nutfa, which is the semen, a drop of semen, will transform into a thick dead blood what kind of god he say such a statement that dead blood is the baby which is the start from the semen the sperm becomes say, 30, 30, a clot of a congealed blood yeah that's exactly what happens this is exactly what happened the sperm become congealed blood yes <laughs> in which science is that people are laughing at you and your god can you show me what, one can you show me can you show me which science, which university agree that semen become a blood? Yeah, Rob. Okay. By the way, this is a Whenever, secret. This is a stages, secret. I don't like to mention. I, I, I know, I know a guy. Are you denying, I know, hold on, hold on. Hold on. There's like stage there, there, there is a, there is a dog. Out. There is a dog. He was masturbating and he left his semen in the floor. Do you know what we found second day? A big chunk of blood became big. Did that ever happen? Yeah, you are. You said that, not me. You said. No. You said the semen. You said the semen. You said the semen become dead blood. Yes. How did it, how, how, Therefore, how the semen became dead blood, and how did the blood grow again? Is it dead? How it is dead. Just See what I mean? You're like you're you're trying to misrepresent because because like it doesn't mention the egg. You're trying to get so hung up on that. My friend, I am not the one. You're probably I showed you the hadith. The okay, hold on. Let us go back. Let us go back. Let us go back to zero. Let us go. Let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. Let us go back to zero. My friend, let us go back to zero. So I asked you. If you I want to ask you some questions. If you remember, if you remember, I asked you. If you remember, don't change topic. If you remember, I asked you. How many days? Stop it. How many Trust days? You're, you're how like, many days? How, how many days the sperm live? I don't know. Probably like three or four. For what? Four days? Yeah. Is it? Are you sure? No, no, I don't know. Okay, give me I'm a short answer. No, I want a short answer. I'll okay, give you a short answer. I don't know. Search, scientific. No, Google. You know, go search. They will not. You tell you. me. I mean, why they will lie to you? According to Google, five days. But I was close. Okay, so you agree? Five days? I, I don't know. Like, I don't know what sources no, that's Don't from. tell me. Like, I know. I know. What, what, kind of, what, trust, kind of debate, debate you know? is, what kind of a debate of a debate of I don't know? Either you get, you know or you do not know. So I'm asking you, go yeah, right no, now I and do, it, do your know. work. Search. Go. I'm giving you time. Don't talk. Find, like, I'm don't talk. Just find it. Search. Search in a Muslim website. Not a Christian website. Not a Jewish website. Not a Hindu. Search in a Muslim university website how many days the, sper the sperm, the semen can live. It's possible that it can't stay as long as five days, is what Sheikh Google is saying. As long what? It can stay up to five days, five according days. to Sheikh Google. All right. This is your prophet. He claimed it's 40 days, 40, 45 days. Ein, where? It's in front of you on the screen. I can't see. Let's see. 
I don't see anything. It's in the front. I just see it. It's going to refresh your page and it will come to you. Just give it give it a minute and read it for us. Go ahead. Let us see who is the prophet. You know, a prophet who do not know such a simple thing. And remember, he is claiming what he claiming because he received his information from Allah. So when a man he is receiving from Allah, how Allah created the baby, he should not say such a stupid thing like this. He said that in the, the semen remains in the womb of the woman, the woman for 45 nights. Yes, okay. okay. But you just said to me, it's five days maximum. Outside. Outside where? On the floor. No. The semen can live inside the women for five days. Who in the who who care about the semen in the floor? You, you come are, are you are you are you mentally ill? See, you're just you're so insincere. I am I you, I'm anyway, asking you, you, said, you said I'm asking you, I'm asking you. The the website you are reading from doesn't say that the semen live in the floor or talking about the women. I'm still waiting for the hadith. I'm asking a question. You said that, and you but, agree. But I want to see what the hadith says. Huh? I want to see what the hadith says. I still haven't seen it. Read it. You haven't sent it? Oh, you want to send it to you? Okay, here we go. I thought you were looking at my YouTube. Here we go. Read it. And can you send the Arabic as well, please? No problem. Here we go. Is this when the like the Ruh is blown in? Is what? Is this like isn't it forty days or something? The like the, the soul. Given it says 40 for, or 45. Muhammad is not sure. Your prophet is Dr. Muhammad is not sure. 40, 45 nights. What Allah told him, you know, Allah is not sure too. Well, like, no, come on, like, let's let's try and be uh, sincere. Ah, okay, so, you no, know, there's ah, like, okay, like, maybe what's what's wrong saying 40 or 45? Maybe okay. sometimes 45, maybe sometimes 40. Okay, so is it 45 or 40? So it's 40 or 45. Maybe for some people it's one, for others it's the other. Right. This is whenever like the root is given to, to the child, isn't it? The semen and, remain. And everything the semen, written. listen, the semen remain as a semen. And then after... 40 or 45 days, the semen angel will ask Allah or oh Allah, and then Allah will make the semen a dead blood. Yes. Okay. So you agree that semen stay semen for 45 days? Before the angel comes and says, is it going to be male or female? Is it going <laughs> to be good or bad? My friend, do you see everybody is laughing at you? Laughing at your religion, laughing at your God, you are making mockery of yourself. Okay, hold on. Wait, where do you get this from? You know, you just told me, you just told me that a semen can live up to five days as a semen. Yeah, but but you told me that whenever it's whenever it's a blood clot, etc., you're still considering it the semen. So no, like, yes, semen will become a dead whenever blood. The, whenever the semen will the become child, the semen will become a dead blood after. Days after 45 days according to your prophet so you're misrepresenting because you're trying to say that like i'm just reading what your prophet saying how i'm misrepresenting it doesn't say because in the front of you okay for I'm how long no, no, no. how long how long how long the semen will stay as a semen i just showed you, you just two said, hadith. So we just i said showed you two hadith let's be three hadith let's be consistent. four let's hadith how long that, like, how, my blood friend blood, you're still gonna my friend, semen. how long the semen will stay as a semen? 45 days or 40. How long is going to be a dead like blood? like blood as well? How long is going to be a dead blood? Same number, correct? 
Isn't is that one as a blood clot as well? The, the blood is the clot. Yeah, but you're saying that's also the semen. So the semen become no, it's not the semen no more. You're, you're not. You're no, not no, 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 no. It's not the semen no more. It is a semen for forty days or forty five according to your prophet. And then after forty five days or forty days, the semen will become dead blood. It's not the semen no more. I I I think it's talking about whenever the roof comes in. What what what? I think you're like twist twisted a little bit. But anyway, right. So can I ask you a question now? <laughs> this is your prophet saying I'm going to post the hate for you so everybody can laugh at what you how okay. you are trying to escape the the humility that you know I understand you're trying to defend your prophet. That's fine. That's very good actually of you. But you are defending a fool, and that make make you look like a fool. Look what your prophet says. Messenger of Allah, the truth and the receiver of the truth. Look, look how truthful he is. He informed us saying, the creation of you human is gathered in the form of a semen in the womb of your mother for 40 days. In the form of a semen. For 40 days. So you try to deny it, it's there. And then, and then it becomes, then, which means after 40 days, it becomes a clinging thing. Which is the clot, dead blood, and then become a lump and or of, of a flesh like that, which means same period 40, 40, 40. The total is 120 days. We have a baby. 40 days as a semen, 40 days as the blood, 40 days as a lump of a flesh. What happened? Did you decide to leave Islam? <laughs> because you, you went silence. And are you shocked about I... your prophet being a false prophet? No, don't misrepresent me. Come on. So relax. while you are, are you read for me? Here we go. In the form of a semen, you said to me, no, you are not a semen as for 40 days. It says in the front of you, gathered in the form me... of semen, which means I... a human being is many semen, not only one semen, in fact, in, 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 in science, one semen only will fertilize the egg, not a billion million semen, but you are gathered in the form of semen in the womb of your mother for four days. Can Nakfu talk about the egg as well? Maybe the egg is Nakfu too. Huh? Maybe the egg is Nakfu as well, or not, not for. It says semen. I mean, what's wrong with you, Muslims? It says semen. No, it says it says it says, it says, it says, it says semen. It says semen. You say the egg. No, it's but it says in Arabic is it not for? Oh, and you Muslim, you translate it as a semen. No, I mean it's been translated as semen here, but like maybe okay. it's referring to the. So egg. okay, I will go with you not for. So and, maybe that maybe and what and what that egg. will do, what that will do. I don't know. I'm just. I'm trying to understand. Is, Maybe is that it you to... who agreed just a few minutes ago that Nutfa is a sexual fluid? No, you're the one trying to say that Ma is the, is uh, semen, and I said Ma is the sex. Take care, man. I don't have time for kids. It's recorded. You agreed, and even I showed it to the Nikathir. Here it says, meaning, he created you from water gushing forth, meaning. Sexual fluid, and you said I agree. Are we going to go in circle? You cannot debate a liar. It's recorded. Your voice is there. People will down. People will die laughing at your lies. And the funny is saying I am the one who misrepresent. You agreed with it, and you said to me nothing wrong with that. And now not fire is not sexual fluid. <laughs> Isn't it you who are agreed with this one too? I said to you, meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the woman, which is referring to her chest. You said to me, what's wrong with that? <laughs> I 
and I will read this one to you, the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women, i.e. fluid, is yellow and fine in texture, and the child will not be born except from both of them. You agreed with it. <laughs> and now he is eating back what he agreed upon. Duck tape, your prophet will not help him. Duck tape is duck tape. And your prophet, his mouth cannot be open no more because of the duct tape the Muslim they do. Everybody is laughing at your religion. The, the, the semen lived for 45 days in the womb, gathered. And this guy, he is collecting his information from his God. Do you think you are talking to a bunch of kids? And the funny is, they accuse me, I am the one who mispresent. Sorry, I had to lose my patience with you because I don't have time to debate kids. A man, he hold his words. He don't bite it. He don't swallow it. He doesn't say, I did not say that. It's recorded. You agree that all of this is a sexual fluid. He is the one who said, when, I call, when, when, when he called me, that I am speaking about, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, when I mentioned this hadith, The one who comes first, he will have the baby. The baby will look like the one who have orgasm first. He said, I'm mispresenting. He said, I'm mistranslating, misinterpreting. But as you see, none of what I am saying is my translation my interpretation, and my website. And as you see, the baby is created from sexual fluid from the man and the women. This is what the Quran, chapter 86, verse number six, 7 saying. So, gushing forth, which means come out. A woman, she came to Muhammad and she asked him if she should wash her private part after having sexual dream. She was touching herself. Allah bless her. The prophet, he said, sure, if a woman, she see it, she wash it. The wife of Muhammad, she said, do even women have orgasm? Because Muhammad, obviously, never gave his wife orgasm. And the Muslim, they tried to fix it. They say, do women have sexual dream? In fact, she said, do even women have such a thing which mean orgasm? She's talking about orgasm. The prophet, he says, sure, otherwise how the women? How do the baby resemble the woman or resemble the father? It's because of the sexual fluid. And Muhammad, he made it clear that the women she have to wash that sexual fluid, which is the baby creation happening because of it, which is false. Because women have orgasm or does not have orgasm, this is have nothing to do with her having a child. In fact, most of women, they have no orgasm and they will never have one because they do circumcision for them. They cannot enjoy sex. And the woman, she came to Muhammad, she asking him if she need to take a bath because she see it. So he says, in case the woman, she sees that sexual fluid, she have to wash. According to Muhammad, that the discharge which the woman, she see, which she have to wash, as you see, it's a discharge. That discharge, i.e. sperm of the man is thick, i.e. of the woman, is thin and yellow. It's discharge. It's not something internal. It is outside. And this is why we laugh at your prophet and obviously he's a fraud. And who care who comes first? According to your prophet, the one who comes first, the baby will look like him or her, which means female or male.
and how look this is how stupid this religion is so you can duct tape your prophet as much as you wish but don't call me you can defend him but don't lie denying what you just said I understand that all Muslim lies therefore I have to take their cause because they are liars no problem but you don't deny what you just agreed upon so I do you know when I speak to Muslims I take them step by step like children until they admit something and then after they admit it they deny it they say we did not say that in this moment I am done with you because why I want to waste my time with you everybody see that you are a liar I know you are a liar from the second you call me I know you will lie to me before you call me you're a Muslim a Muslim being ordered to lie to non-Muslims we know that they practice taqiyya and everything but you say it live on air it's recorded and you deny that you said that I'm done <laughs> you got busted you've been served uh, okay hold on he want to ask me a question I will take his question he said okay you know so but first you have to admit that you did lie I'm calling him Give him a chance. <laughs> He's not answering. Maybe he's scared. He's not answering. And even, even even you know even a question they don't they are even to answer to 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 ask and the funny is he says you are doing bless, blasphemy against god your god is a god the god who allow muta the god who allow having sex with the children the god who allowed to lie you can lie in three cases to your family your wife your husband to your friends and your enemy who's left this is God. You have no God. Your God is the devil, my friend. You are worshiping a potato God. He is not even able to make you win just a stupid game, even though all a billion Muslim praying for Muslims to win. The Christian, they were not praying to God for all this Christian win. The Argentino, they were praying to Argentina. The Croatian were playing to Croatian team. All of you Muslim praying for Morocco and you got busted. All of you Muslims praying that you will have a victory against the Christian prince when you debate him. And each time I put a goal after goal after goal until your net have nothing but holes. And your God, Allah cannot support you. Actually, I am the best in goaling in the net of Islam more better way than Macy's. What Macy's? You cannot count next to me. You don't even have a net in your goal. I screwed it up, all of it. I tore it up. They try to lie as much as they can, but you cannot play with me. I am the one who trained Macy's how to teach, how to touch the ball. He was a kid. He said, hey, Macy's, this is a Muslim ball. Do you know how to hold it? He said, uh, Muslim ball? Well, we don't have a Muslim ball in Argentina. I said, okay, just imagine it's a Muslim ball. This ball is converted to Islam, and they have a lot of money. And they will try to deceive you. They will offer you a lot of money. They will give you a lot of gifts hoping that you will see Islam as a good religion. So when they give you the Muslim ball, learn how to squeeze their balls. Crush it. The devil in their side and the God in our side. And if God is with me, 
Who could be against me? And now this Christian man who keep putting the cross in his face each time he put a goal, he crushed your balls. And he grabbed the gold from the house of the hyena. What you can do about it? And you claim that you are celebrating. In fact, you are so sad. Very sad. It's time to cry, to say goodbye. Allah, he have a bad internet. He cannot have a Wi-Fi. Yeah. Take a beer. All right, I think we had enough for today. We called this guy, he did not answer. And the funny, he feels sorry for me, according to him. <laughs> A person has God, he promised him in this private part, he feels sorry for me. I feel sorry for you, how you can even walk with it. And in this private part, is that a penalty or a reward? How you can walk forward? You have to walk backward. Imagine the lion or the cat or the dog have a tail in the front of his face and this tail is endless. How he can walk forward? At least ask your God to change the location of your private part, put it in your butt. It make more sense so you can walk forward. And if your wife is next to you, why you want your private part to be endless? So your wife is here and your private part is in Seven Galaxy? Beep, beep, Argentina. Beep, beep, Argentina. Beep, beep, oh, Croatia. Beep, beep, oh, France. Lo, lo brother, lo français, le wonder card cup, brother. While those people, they are getting rewarded and everything, the Muhammadan, they are busy with Allah. Allah, we are doing da'wah, introduction to Islam in the FIFA. And then in the same time they are they're having at the game, the news is spread about the bribes of Qatar. And God knows how many people they offer them money so they can convert to Islam in Qatar. And then even if those who anyone convert, they will take the money and they will leave Islam. Those people, they don't, many of them, they don't care. I mean, there's many people, they are losers. They just want the money. They go back to their country, they laugh at you. Okay, we got the money. They allow drinking, alcohol, dancing, nakedness, and they claim that they are supporting Allah. That is the truth. So my friend, we say we are happy for people of Argentina, France, and Croatia. But we remind people always that you should always take God in your side. In any field you go, those who don't appreciate God give to them, they will lose what they have, and what they have will be taken from them. So don't be a nation who don't appreciate. Don't be a nation of losers. The one who don't appreciate the bread he eat, he will go hungry. The one who don't appreciate the roof he have, he will lose his roof. Appreciation is the key of happiness. Don't be like those people. Don't be hateful. We don't hate the Muslims and we will never hate them. We are here exposing the filth of the false prophet so-called Allah and his God, Muhammad. The Muslim, they say Allah is God, Muhammad is a prophet. The fact is that Muhammad is Allah. He used that toy for his benefit. When he want to have sex, he make verses saying any woman she want to give herself. When he want money, give me loan. Who want to give Allah a loan to the prophet so Allah will double it for him? 
when he want to take the theft, he says the khums, uh, the fifth of that theft for the Prophet and his Allah, the fifth, the privilege of the cult leader. All cult leaders, they share one thing, sexual privilege, money privilege, authority privilege. And Muhammad, he have it all. Cult leaders, they share one, one, one thing. Privilege. Jesus, when he come to this earth, he washed the feet of his followers. And he told them, if you cannot be a servant, you cannot be a master. Zero privilege. Yet the Christian believe that he's God, but yet he have zero privilege. He never asked for money. He never asked for sex. He never asked for any privilege. In fact, it is the opposite. He gave himself, his life, to save the world. Muhammad, he wants you to give his, your life so he can be rich, so he can F your wife. That is the devil. This is why we as a Christians, we have the best name to use it for us as a Christian, Christ. His name is holy, his act is holy, his life is holy, and he is the holy God. The Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Your prophet is a liar in science, is a liar in history, is a liar in religion, is a liar in everything. Every word he say from his mouth is a lie. And our Lord, he says, who is the father of all lies? It is Satan. And Satan is your God, Mohammedans. We are here to save you. Praise the Lord, we have victory always. Praise the Lord for all Christians who they are the true, true believers. Many of us, they are Christian by names. You will be sorry. Time will come and you will be questioned and they will, the Lord will ask you what you brought to me, what you did to me, who you support in my name. And then if you say none, get ready to meet Muhammad. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I will see you soon again. This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. And I remind you, we will be back in the Christmas. For sure, it doesn't mean I'm not going to be back until the Christmas. But in the Christmas day, we will be live and we will take calls from all Christians and only Christians to celebrate the day of Christ. And many of you, or many, they say, oh, Christmas have nothing to do with Jesus. Those are ignorant, they do not know what Christmas is. It is a Christmas, it's a Christ Mass. So don't say it's not. Christmas is celebrated in the Bible. Angels of God came to this earth to give good news to Mary. Kings, they come to, to Jesus. Men, they come to give gifts. The whole world happiness because of Jesus. Happiness, peace and earth because of Jesus. You celebrate even the birth of your child and you don't want to celebrate the King of Kings Hypocrite people, who is better to celebrate, a birth of your son or the birth of the Son of God? Your son who is coming to this earth and he might beat you later, or Jesus who came to save you? So we celebrate every day, Jesus, not only in Christmas. In that day, we don't care for the date. It's not about 25 of December. We celebrate Jesus, not the day. We don't care if it's 25 or 26 or 27. We don't care if it's February. It doesn't matter what month. For there's no time can be repeated. And the birth of the King of Kings cannot be repeated. It's one time event. We celebrate Jesus, my friend. So always be a warrior who will love your Lord. So the Lord will always take care of you. He said, knock at my door and I will open for you. Come to me, those who are tired and I will comfort you. Whoever believe me and me and die, he will live. So let us live with Jesus 
and those who want to follow Muhammad, let them follow the dead man because they are dead people. The Lord, he says, let the dead bury the dead. We are not the dead. We are living by the name of Christ. Christ be with you and see you soon again. Take care.